healthy family. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy and healthy. We're doing fall stuff. For me, it's early fall stuff because y'all know, no, I use comfrey. I use straight up food scraps. So I'm adding things that I'm hoping will break down a little bit over time and feed my stuff. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm hoping. It's like 40 something percent. So I don't trust the weatherman really. Not really. But I'm hoping. So let me show you what I did in the front yard. So I cut some comfrey. If you look close, you can see I placed comfrey around here. And then just a little bit more soil. This is some of the drier soil. It does have some con uh, cocoa core in it and stuff. But the rain is going to go ahead and settle that down. It's covering most of the comfrey. So it's going to help the comfrey break down and feed my turmeric and that's what I wanted to do so that's basically what I did up here I did the same thing for the ginger if you look close there is comfrey up under here and then I just put some more soil there these hibiscus really got knocked over slightly they're slightly slanted more I don't think I really considered the rainfall when I planted them there so I think it fell kind of hard on them like right down here back here where the roots are see they gotta lean I think they'll be fine now because now they're leaning how they need to be in order to be okay but I put some comfrey down there I put some more soil down there so that it wouldn't just be eroding the soil that's right there where the roots are coming out um, I didn't do much to the yarrow but Back here, I did tuck one little comfrey leaf and put a little bit more um, soil there. You can see there's mushrooms down here already, so the soil is looking pretty happy and healthy, if you ask me. And then back here, I did the same. So the gingers that I planted recently, that one and this one have a little bit of comfrey, a little more soil. Um, this black turmeric as well and then here I laid um, some of my homemade compost and then laid some soil and I sprinkled some chamomile seeds down here and I don't necessarily need them to sprout right away but I'm hoping when it cools down a little bit they will sprout out so that is what's up with that. I'm about to take a break and go eat. But that's what I'm doing, getting ready for the fall. I'm starting to plant seeds. I'm going to sit down and show you guys what seeds that I have already planted. I have to plant little by little because I have like a big old thick stack of stuff that I want to plant. And not as much time in every day to do so. So I've already planted a few. Um, I'm direct sowing a few. I am getting my beds ready to plant other things. And I just wanted to take you guys along with me. So I hope you're doing well in your gardens as well. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Okay, family. So I just planted six types of seeds. Yesterday, I think I planted six or seven. So little by little, we're getting it done. So let me show you what's up. Okay, so I scooted everything in the shade. This is my big old cocoa core. I wet it the other day. So it soaked up all that water and now it's nice and easy to break down I don't want to do it too much because I don't want the wind to blow it but what I do is just break off some and then I mix homemade um, compost in it and it looks like this and then I just put them in my pots and plant them so I planted six different seeds today scarlet kale true comfrey sage red mustards Slow boat cilantro and collard greens. I like seeds from Strictly Medicinal Seeds. So I was just going to show you guys. Some of my seeds came from here. My True Comfrey, one I love. And the White Sage also. This one is Botanical Interest. Giant Red Mustards. We did grow this before and Mommy loved it. I've grown scarlet kale before. This is from Baker Creek. I don't plan on purchasing from Baker Creek anymore, but I do like these, um, that type of kale. And these two, I'm pretty sure I found these seed companies on Etsy, Nimble Nightcap. These are my collard greens and seed geeks. That is my cilantro. So. 
these are gonna go over into the greenhouse excuse this mess show you with these that were planted yesterday so yesterday I planted purple island kale tall Utah celery and some other stuff but I'll show you guys the seeds I'm gonna sit these in here in some water and then go get ready for brunch so I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that we were planting and what my seed planting looks like I do have other videos of that as well that are probably longer and you can see me actually planting them um, but let me know what you guys are planting in the fall. The next thing I'm going to do is probably just go in and show you guys what I already, the seeds are already planted. I can show you. I'm still, I'm planning to direct sow some more purple opal basil and some nasturtiums. And then I'm saving most of the flowers like calendulas. Um, another kind of calendula. Um the borage, the snapdragons. I'm saving those for my baby girl to plant. I'm also gonna plant some cauliflower. Um, and I'm gonna plant bush beans, but not until it cools down some more. So I'm leaving open spaces for those. And then these are also zinnias. These are supposed to be a yellow zinnia. So I'm saving some of these for my baby girl to plant. I just ordered more of these. I actually need to put this away. I'm not planting any more okra, I don't think. Oh, not over here, but I'm planting it at mommy's house. Still got a few more things to plant, like the holy basil. I have leeks in here. I have early purple sprouting broccoli I want to try. So just a few more things to plant here. Okay, family, I'm about to write in my gardening journal. So these are the seeds that I planted yesterday. Yellow mustard, purple island kale, uh, radicchio cabbage. I planted spaghetti squash. I planted butternut squash. My butternut squash has not done well this year. So we're going to try again and we have another space that we can maybe plant it in. I did try pineapple ground cherries again. I'm hoping. I have one that's growing right now um, that's in a grow bag. So I'm hoping I can get a few more by the end of the year. I did Alabama blue collards. I did some onion chives. I actually planted this in the grow bag with my um cabbages and then i also did tall utah celery so in two days i've got quite a lot of seeds planted i planted these yesterday and i planted the stack i already showed you guys today so i am definitely making making a dent in this and um as i plant them i put them back in my little seed organizer and write it in my journal so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are happy and healthy and doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Okay, peace. Real quick, while we're talking about planting seeds, I want to show you guys something before I pull these out. So I have um, composted in place over here. This is where my uh, pole beans, mostly it was pole beans. I did have a borage here earlier too. So when everything came out, I moved over these uh, the leaves and I threw compost down and some of it had some of my Armenian cucumber seeds in there which is fine because when they pop out if I don't want them I can just pull them out I cut up some comfrey and put that on top and then I threw some kind of like a little bit of old dirt on top um, and then I covered it back up with these leaves and look what I have and I've already pulled some of these out I left them here specifically to say um, I, I just want to challenge the notion that you have to have like this sterile growing space for seeds. I think seeds want to grow. I think especially if you have nutrition, um, seeds will grow. When you forest setting where the animals are really spreading the seeds and stuff, there's nobody like making sure that it's like the perfect soil. So just plant your seeds with what you have. You can always keep trying to like build your compost, build your nutrition up. But I don't really think, I don't think it's that deep. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace.